Let's do a short five assembly estimate. First at the main screen, click on the estimate icon. You will see two fields. The upper field is where all of the new and existing estimates are located. The lower field is the room area for each of the estimates in the upper field. Each estimate in the upper field can have an unlimited number of rooms or areas in the lower field, and this allows you to build a job one room at a time. To enter a new estimate, go to the top left of your monitor and click on New Customer Estimate. Customer Estimate, and then New Customer Estimate. We're going to go now and fill in the blanks. So we're going to tab over. I'm going to put in my initials as an estimator, and I'm going to tab over. And a tab and anything that doesn't have a star on we can go through on for time element you can fill these in as you're doing your own estimates but in this particular case we're going to go down through this list today and not fill in the blanks tab key leave the address and everything else the same state zip code now markup level we're going to ask you to use a markup level of 1.5 on this particular job. So it's number two. We're not going to put in a tax district or the estimating square foot or any of the rest of that. We're going to save it and we're going to close. Now, immediately it's going to ask us to create the description for the room area for this estimate. And again, now what we're going to do is we're going to type in a small miscellaneous job tab it and it's going to say how many square feet let's just type in 100 hit our tab key save and close and now immediately it will send us to the assembly list now if I go down here in the bottom left hand corner and click on review estimate items you'll see that our estimate takeoff sheet is blank so now we're going to do five line item takeoffs first one we're going to do is 12 120 you can see right here this is planned so we're going to double click on it we're going to take off one of those, save, go up here, and we're going to scroll down to 62 floor framing, 62, 340, double click on that, plug in one, and put save on it. And it says this is below the quantity. We'll go back and fill those in in just a minute. I'm, I'm doing this for a reason. Stay with me because you'll normally fill in the square footage in this little window right behind here when you normally do it. But in this case, we're just going to put one in each one of them. Uh, let's grab the scroll bar here now and go down to 83. And we're going to go to 510. We're going to double click on that. We're going to put in one here. Save. And yes. 183510 is our next one we've got picked out that we want to include in this estimate. And I'm doing this in this order for a reason, so just bear with me here. 183510 is a base island. We'll double click on that and we'll put in five in this one here and save. Now the next item we want to put in is a number that's higher up on this on the uh, section list. So we want to go back up to that. So what we're going to do then is we're going to tick on 62, 164 into your drywall, and we're going to go 164, 510, right there, double click, and we're going to type in 450 square feet of drywall and hit save. Now we've done the five line item take us, let's go see what those look like on our estimate sheet, and there they are. Now we're going to do some editing of this list. Let's go to 62,340. Click on that one, go up to edit, edit quantity and cost, click on that. Now you will see the editing window for our takeoff. We're gonna tab down here to the number of square feet. We're gonna replace one with 200. We're gonna add our tab. Is this standard cost pricing? We wanna change the pricing down below, but to do that, we have to go to non-standard costs. We type in an N and hit tab key. You will notice down below now that the lines that we can change have all turned to red. Okay, so under labor now, instead of $4.98, uh, we want to put in $6. And our materialist, instead of $2.87, we're going to put in $3.50. We save it, and you'll see now that it's changed this price up here uh, in our extended cost column. The beveled cedar rough finish, we're going to click on that, edit edit quantity tab down 
number of square feet, we're going to type in 50 there and hit tab and we're going to type in no there and tab again and we're going to put in 40 cents and we're going to type in five dollars and we're going to hit save and close. Everything else is fine on this estimate. You'll notice up on top here if you've been watching our room cost, our room price, and our room's cost per square foot. The room cost is our actual job cost. The room price is our, is our room cost times 1.5, which is our markup. Now, if we had several rooms going on at the same time that we're doing estimate, then under job cost, it would show up right there. Now, we're going to click on close on this estimate. And if we wanted to add another room to this estimate right here, click on room area and add new room area. And we would type in the uh, room area description. This is a small miscellaneous job. And so we would say this is miscellaneous and stuff so you can see what it'll do. Hit the tab key and we'll put in 200 here. And hit the tab key, save. And now it wants to go back and do the estimate. So we're going to close out of this. It'll take us right back right here. And there's your small window miscellaneous and stuff.